All right, uh, breaking news uh, coming in uh, from the court at Rohini where uh, the proceedings had been stalled, but we're getting to know that uh, both the former, uh, the former Chief Minister of Haryana, Om Prakash Chautala, and his son, Ajay Chautala, have been sentenced to 10 years in jail. Remember, today was the date of sentencing after uh, both the, of them had been convicted in that teacher recruitment scam. And uh, we're getting information now that they have both been uh, sentenced to 10 years in prison. Just a brief background of uh, this case. Uh, the allegations against both the Chief Minister Om Prakash Chautala and his son Ajay Chautala were that uh, they uh, had illegally recruited more than 3,000 junior basic trained teachers between 1999 and 2000. Uh, this was a case which had been investigated, uh, investigated by the CBI. In fact, uh, today has been a dramatic day ahead of that sentencing. Those visuals we're getting you from outside the Rohini court where supporters of uh, Om Prakash Chautala and his son had uh, been staging a protest uh, in favor of uh, their leader. All right, let's uh, take this further with CNN IBN's National Bureau Chief Bhupen the Chobe joining us uh, now from our newsroom. Bhupen, a significant, uh, uh, significant uh, development there. Of course, uh, this was as per procedure. Well, uh, yes. Uh, today, remember, I know there was a day when the quantum of punishment uh, was to be announced. Om Prakash Chautala and his son, both of them had already been declared guilty by the CBI court and all that's been done today is said since they were declared guilty in an act of corruption in the case of a recruitment of postgraduate teachers, they've now been sent to 10 years in jail. This is a verdict which will be challenged in a higher court and that's what was told to us So when we were speaking to the legal team of the Chautalas. It will also be interesting to see, Arnode, and I think our correspondent Shubhajit will be updating us in a short while, that what is the punishment which has been handed down to the others, for instance the bureaucrat who incidentally was a whistleblower in this entire case and who also ended up finding himself behind bars. What's the punishment which has been given to him? Has there been any separation, any segregation which has been made out between the Chautalas and the bureaucrats or not? Uh, that's something which we have to wait and watch out for. At the moment, word coming out is that both uh, Omprakar Chautala and his son have been sentenced to 10 years of imprisonment. This is bound to be a personal setback of sorts for Om Prakash Chautala. Coming as it does at a time when he's literally towards the fag end of his political career, he's 78. His only hope was that he will be able to somehow reinstate the political career of his son Abhay as well as Ajay. Now, one of his sons, we know, happens to be involved with the sporting administration also with the Indian Olympic Association. Uh, his, his other son is the one now who finds himself behind bars. However, while this may be a personal temporary setback of sorts for Mr. Chautala and his son and his family, this is bound to be a hugely emotive political issue in the state of Haryana. Already what we are seeing now on our screens, huge number of supporters who had gathered outside Rohini court. Word coming out was that even for the lawyers who were arguing in this case, it was very, very difficult for them to get inside the courtroom because of the number of supporters of the Indian National Lokdal who had gathered there. If you take a look at the assembly configuration, if you take a look at the percentage of votes in 2009 at the last elections, the Indian National Lokdal had got almost 26% of the vote, 31 seats to Indian National Lokdal, 40 seats to the Congress. So by no means does this imply an end of sorts to Om Prakash Chautala. By any yardstick you look at it, this will be the beginning of yet another very, very intense battle which will take place between the Congress on one side and the Indian National Lokdal on the other. Elections in Haryana are due for right. next year and maybe this will be con used by the International Lokdal to suggest that they are simply being victimized by the Congress. All right, uh, Bhupin, hold on to that. Uh, we're going to discuss the political... Uh uh, the politics of it all uh, in greater detail. Let me just quickly get in uh, uh, the news point from uh, Shubhajit Sen Gupta, who's joining us from the Rohini court, who's getting us that information uh, on that verdict. Uh, Shubhajit, uh, just take us through what else the court had to say. This is not just about uh, Om Prakash Chautala and his son, but uh, others who were convicted as well. It was a packed courtroom and the media was kept outside. What the details we are getting right now is that two of <coughs> both father and son has been sentenced to 10 years of imprisonment. Now, under uh, uh, Prevention of Corruption Act, seven years is the maximum. Apart from that, there were forgery, 120B, which is criminal conspiracy, as well as other attempt to forgery, uh, which were there in this. This happened in the JBT scam. And the moment this happened, the moment the order came out, the, uh, there was uh, heavy tear gassing, about seven to eight shells I could hear. We, our entire team was also tear gassed and uh, that's why we had to stop that live coverage for some time and then we have ch changed the position. The ground which was there was had, been, had to be emptied and now we have also come to a different location from where I am speaking to you right now. The details of the entire order, remember it's will be a very uh, big order because there are 53 people who have 
apart from the father and son duo who has been convicted in this case and their sentences are out today so we'll have to go through the detailed order to find out who and where has been convicted by how much but the big news point coming out clearly is that 10 years which is a heavy sentence in the maximum they could have given to om prakash chotala as well as his son ajay chotala